Hello everyone, welcome back to the Senior Staff Podcast. I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Navi Chiruda. And I'm Cadet Senior Airman Sai Karana. Okay, so you guys, this first question is, what is your name with your rank and your role in Senior Staff? So hi, I'm Cadet Colonel Hillary Nguyen, I'm the group commander, and basically I'm in charge of making sure these guys get their job done, um, and helping out with any of their tasks uh, if they need any help. Um, I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Xavier Rico, I'm the deputy commander. Um, my job is to help my staff uh, in any areas where they're faltering, um, and also uh, provide ideas on how to improve the core. Hi, I'm Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Braden Perry, and my job is to run the core essentially. I do BDI, C1, broken tests, uh, listening, and stuff like that. Hello. Hi, I'm Cadet Chief Lieutenant Colonel Lucky Hong, and I'm the Operations Commander. So basically, I'm in charge of all the flights and their flight staff, making sure that everything happens each day is the same for each flight, and making sure everyone's having a good time. Hello, my name is Cadet Captain Christopher Villalobos. I am the Drill Teams Commander, uh, which essentially means that I, I help, I help like, you know, the daily functions of, of, of Drill Teams, also being an advocate for, uh, for Drill Teams, and generally making sure that we're, that we're prepared for competitions and events. Hi, I'm Cadet Captain Joshua Yang. I'm the Mission Support Commander, and my job is to oversee the Mission Support Squadron. I also manage the unit fund and budget, and I also create rosters for events. I'm Cadet Captain Isabella Canales, and I am the Plans and Programs Commander. So basically, I just manage all special teams and work on all field trips and community service events. Hi, I'm Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Emma Mills, and I'm the Logistics Commander, and I am in charge of everything you wear from your head to your toes. Uh, hi, I'm Cadet Captain Kirsten Srinivasan, I'm the Public Affairs Commander. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, all the people who take photos and videos at all, all the events we have, whether it's drill cons or volunteering events. Uh, I'm also in charge of making the newsletter, the monthly video, and making the website. Um, yeah, so my favorite memory was my freshman year. Um, <clears throat> I came into the program during SLS, um, so at the very beginning, uh, during the summer. Um, the group commander at the time was, or, I'm sorry, um, there was a flight commander, his name was Christian Yu, he became the group commander the year after. And I remember um, when I came in, the first person I met was him. Um, I was pretty scared of ROTC because I didn't know anyone, I was from pretty far away in the area. So um, him coming up and talking to me and being friendly um, really made me like uh, get a sense of the, uh, the family in the core, the family that we have here in the core. And I'm very grateful that he did that. Um, um, Sorry, I, I just remembered. So, yeah, we called it uh, SLS before instead of CLC. And um, I remember my first day. I actually didn't want to do ROTC at all. It wasn't on my list of electives or PE classes or anything. And my mom told me to go just for two weeks to this random camp. And so I was like, okay, I guess. I came in first day and I fell in love. Um, I still have my journal with, like, uh, the first day of like meeting the senior staff members, their names, um, all of their interests. Like I remember Marina, she really liked lemons. She would eat them just like straight up, and I have that in my journal. So yeah, um, I just fell in love with this program like immediately right off the bat. So I'm happy to be here. Um, my favorite memory is when I made something to sing at He was hesitant at first, but after I showed him his repetition, he did not only sing one song, but after he enjoyed that one, he sang one another song that night, and ever since then, he's always sang karaoke nights. <laughs> I think my I'm, I, I think my favorite memory is is when, when I first joined the corps. Um, I really did not have like any friends. <laughs> this is generally I, I didn't really have any friends here, um, and, and, and I and I did meet uh, Christian Yu. Oh, that's my video. <laughs> talking to early nerd Christian Yu. Yeah, I, I met I met Christian Yu, um, and, and and I heard that he had like he had like a TED talk that he would, he did a TED talk TED talk, and I'm like, ooh, I should watch that because he at the time he was my flight commander, um, and, and so I watched it. It was it was about like taking every opportunity you can, and I was like, this is life changing because because like it kind of it, it felt like he was speaking to me, and and and, and so from there I I have taken every opportunity. That my favorite memory was from last year, 
It was our first uh, drill comp that was far, far away. We went to Fontana, or Fontania. <laughs> but um, <laughs> on the bus, it was a, it's a two hour bus ride there and back. So we had to find a couple of Jodies, find a couple of songs to sing. And then uh, on our way back, I believe Xavier screams out, Hey guys, it's Lucky's birthday. <laughs> and it caused uh, a little bit of a ripple in the core. Uh, I can't go a day without hearing Lucky. Uh, it's Lucky's birthday, and then someone's singing to me. And then I'm just sitting here like, um, Okay, thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> it's my birthday every day now. I'm probably like 64 now or something. <laughs> That's my favorite memory, Lucky's birthday. Right, for me, my favorite memory was in BDS and BDP, my freshman year. Um, that's actually a competition that's coming up. And my favorite memory from that was that I had to sound off one command in the, BDQ, in the BDP drill card. And that one command, I remember on the day of the competition, I actually like voice cracked. That was pretty embarrassing at the time, but now that I think about it, that's probably my favorite memory. What was the command? You yeah, have like, staying fast. <laughs> <laughs> I think, well, my favorite memory is from freshman year because I was really shy back then. And same thing about opportunities. I didn't know what to do. I was really scared to actually join anything. And I felt like I didn't know that many people. And so I decided to try out for the awareness presentation team just because I liked speaking and I liked presentations. And somehow I made the team. And ever since then, that has been one of my favorite teams. It's basically a family there. And I really appreciate what all my upperclassmen did for me there. And that helped me fall in love with special teams. My favorite <coughs> memory would probably be actually getting notified that I got into Flight Academy. It was, I think, maybe a Monday or Tuesday at lunch. And then all of a sudden, all these people are coming up and congratulating me. And I'm like, wait, I got in? Yeah, pretty cool. Life-changing experience. I just want to say that. But, um, <laughs> uh, freshman year, I went to uh, uh, freshman year. I had just moved to San Diego. Uh, all my friends were in the Bay Area, so I didn't really know anyone. And uh, one of the first events back then was the Baton Memorial hike, and that was like uh, the first time I actually felt like this pretty core thing. And uh, I remember I was going to Fox Rat, and uh, I, I had like a long conversation with Matthew Studio. Uh, like the whole time, and it was like lots of fun because I felt like part of the unit finally, and uh, I just remember that event uh, like really fondly. You are working like, you know, like there, it's not people under you; you're working for them. So always be thinking about those people who um, are technically like under you. They're not any worse than you are. You have to build your team and motivate them in order to succeed. Part of the reason I think I um, uh, did so well with my flight last year is because everyone uh, felt at least like they were a part of it and um, motivated to do their task. So yeah, if you take care of your team, they'll take care of you. So um, the confidence that your followers get in the team comes from the leader's confidence. And the, the way I feel that the leader gains confidence is by having a plan. So if you don't have a plan, your followers are definitely going to notice. And then, um, for example, something like our team, it requires a lot of um, exhibitions and performances, which require a lot of time beforehand with practice and training. So um, it's important to have a plan ahead of time. And this goes for anything, flight commander, um, our team commander, even senior staff. It's important to have a plan um, so your team is with you and so that the events that you create are um, fun for everyone. Uh, yeah, kind of same as them. It's as much as I work for uh, my staff, they also work for me. So it's basically just a give and take about how much we, uh, when I give a task to them, they're gonna reciprocate, uh, they're gonna give me the answers back, or whatever the case is, and then it's just uh, keeping the communication going, making sure we know what we need at all times. So basically just make sure I know what I want my, uh, my commanders I should to do, and they know what I should be doing. So just keep each other accountable, working for each other. So, uh, so, so really what I've learned is, is, that, is that I need to like plan things that I already know in, 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 like, like in, in advance so that, like, so that when like last, thing, last minute things come up, it's not as, as much. Something that Colonel Tucker taught us was that our character is one of the most important things that define us. So what you really should watch out for is 
anything that might disturb or distract your character, and you have to build your character so that other people above you know what to look out for, whether you're choosing gen staff or senior staff positions. My advice as a leader would probably be to try to be everybody's best friend, because as a leader, you don't just want to know somebody on a surface level, you just want to get to know them as a person. And especially if you're a commander or a sergeant, your relationship is incredibly important. And knowing each other better makes sure your team functions better. And getting to know each of your team members individually is super, super important because you want to make sure that they're completely honest with you and that they're willing to tell you anything. Especially if it's like leadership related, they have any you know, questions, they want advice. So make sure you try to be their friend and get to know them on a level that's just more than the surface. It's super important to be open and available to everyone, whether it be a first year cadet or your best friend, so they feel comfortable enough to come to you to ask for help or for a suggestion. Uh, enjoy what you do. You'll, if you're in a leadership position in this court, you're going to put in a few more hours than you would like, most likely, for preparing for stuff and all that jazz. But So if you don't enjoy what you do, it's going to feel miserable. Um, so, um, the one, I think one of the key things uh, to being a leader is um, knowing how to keep your composure, or like, uh, you know, keeping your state of mind, like, uh... Which guy is most likely to get a date to Aro besides Brayden? Because he already has one. Brayden! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> the other guys are hopeless. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, Yo, you already know Kate doesn't ask that one, Okay. Your girl isn't even here. So your your girl your girl is on the other side of the world. You could get a girl if you try. Um. You're in the Mediterranean. You you have Josh has Riz, but his Riz is politeness. His Riz is like meeting your parents. His Riz his Riz is like literally just talking to people like in like a casual. He looks pretty, but that's about it. Okay, the girl's parents may be more attractive than the girl, Josh. <laughs> the girl's parents like you more than the girl. Yeah. The moral is they could do it if they tried. But they're not trying. Well, they need to try really, really hard. I did. It wasn't that hard. Okay, but that's it. That's just for you. <laughs> Look at the rest of them. They're prospects. <laughs> I love my job. Oh. I play League of Legends. You're not being yeah. <laughs> Let the girl on red for like what, 12 hours? Just so, we could, <laughs> just so we could watch the videos, not play. That was true. Okay, Legends. Uh, Red Flag Legends. Red Flag Legends. True. Dogs. Wait. These are Red Flags. Uh, you, I, I don't know. Your Red Flag is um, your biceps. I don't, I don't know Hillary's Red Flag. Say mommy really quick. Mommy? That or your mom. She's she says that about every Single day, yeah. multiple times a day. Mommy? <laughs> yeah. I could regret that. Dogs, for sure. Dogs. Red flag is dogs, green flag is your biceps, red flag is Josh has no red flags. We're gonna face everything else. Um, red flags see. wants to go to Yusafa. Right? Oh, you wanted to go to Yusafa at one point. Oh. Yeah, then she found the better. Yeah. Spartan? Oak. Oak. Is she making money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This guy's like black, is that's not pain. His humor is from Instagram memes. That's you actually goes on the Instagram and swap page and just says like, wait, what are you doing? He literally shows and shows Instagram memes and other people be like, yeah, this is funny, right? It's like, yeah, it's a kind of laugh challenge. Not kind of laugh challenge. Alright, so the cop right there. Try not to laugh challenge. Okay, what about Hillary's red flag? Yeah, you guys give me a red flag. She 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 constantly she constantly speaks speaks to other members of senior staff in like a baby voice. Yeah, she looks like that's, that's not a red flag. flag. That's not a red flag. No. Okay. That, that's a summer. What about Emma? Um, Emma is a red flag. Red flag, flag. You know? and green flag. <laughs> red flag, flag is plain. Green flag is also plain. Red flag. So that's what I would red say. Red flag is being British. Yes. <laughs> yes. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Actually, like seasons are free, so we stay. <laughs> Uh, I seasoned it with pepper. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm never gonna say red flag. I can't handle spice, but I like so the pink. So I'll still eat the spice. It, it'll hurt, but it's fine. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I, I've received no green flags nor red flags. Okay, I don't mind. No, that's mine. Green flag for Chris. I need to think real hard. <laughs> okay, okay. Red flag is really good. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. That's not true. That's not true. He's really good at unarmed stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's green a flag. green flag. Uh, green flag, you look so cool doing unarmed things. Like the ripples. Mm -hmm. Actually, my face. <laughs> unarmed is unarmed is your big personality, so I'll say that. <laughs> is that a red flag? Like, that's not my. That's no. Okay. I, I like to see. Know, I like to see that that's not my like, interface. Oh yeah, it's not my theater kit. Oh my god, red flag theater kit. Yeah, theater kit. Okay, what about Isabella though? Okay, green flag. She's like the sweetest person. She got the that's sweetest dog. She has no red flags. Oh. <laughs> her red flag. Her red flag is that she uses emojis unironically. <laughs> Sobbing emojis. Sobbing emojis. Sobbing emojis. It's the only one I agree with. Sobbing emojis. That's like half a red flag. Okay, I try to help you. You don't accept it's that. Valid. Yeah. It's valid. Okay, okay, that's just not. It's not making fun of. It's true. Okay. She's trying to help you out. She's trying to help you. Okay, next question. Um, what are you guys' secret talents? It's your time to shine. Oh, I don't think it's really a secret. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really a secret, but I, I do sing and I, and I do musical theater. I mean, I, people, whatever I mentioned. My really secret. Good at, you know, I'm sorry. I was gonna say my uh, secret I'm talent good. is um sleeping in the shower or like get like sleeping <laughs> before. But, like I, I'm like awake the entire time. I just have my eyes closed. I'm like doing my thing, and then I like open my eyes and I feel like well rested or like. Two minute naps, like one to three minute naps. So, yeah. And then I go back. Secret talent. Like, they get legends. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a secret though. I embrace my first Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True. I'm not very good at being human, though. Kesha's secret talent is that he can actually sing pretty well. <laughs> for, not, for not being trained, yeah, pretty well. He can also dance. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I don't think this is a secret because it, because like she has an ABT, but she's like a pretty good speaker, like a really good speaker. Yeah. Thank you. A really good speaker. Try to compliment Isabella without using curse words. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, to like exemplify how good she is. Not really a talent, but I am good at being a completionist on video games, so I get Ooh, everything same, done. Same. <gasps> that is fine, please. Is a talent. I mean, Oh, he can play the piano kind of on the phone. Oh, yeah, that's not a secret talent. Mr. Bachelor's complaints about it. I can play the piano vaguely. I only ever memorized one song. It's from Twilight. It's called Bella's Little Bunny. Uh, but actually, one thing is, I pick up on uh, foreign curse words very well. <laughs> oh my god! I got a lot of words. Oh. Best pickup line you've ever heard, or your best pickup line to get. Are you from Tennessee? You know, our, our team is about spinning rifles and such, but would you want to take our love for a spin? <laughs> That's a good one. I saw. I he he smiled at that. He smiled at that. He liked it. He liked it. And then I won. I won C1. So. Works. Um, if being sexy <laughs> was a crime, you would be guilty as charged. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was like my first Google search. <laughs> no, I think sex now. If being sexy oh, was wow. a crime, you would serve lifetime in prison. Yes, yeah, true. Hey, here's my favorite one. Are, are you an IKEA store manager? Because I'm lost without you. Oh. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I feel like a better pickup line would be like, hey, do you want to go nap on the beds at like IKEA or something? Like, like what? what the? Exactly. <laughs> okay guys, so that was our senior staff podcast. Like and subscribe, smash yeah. that bell notification button thingy, uh, comment down below what you want to see next, and tell us your favorite senior staff members. Link in the comment down below what do you hate about Lucky Hong. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please smash that like button. Follow us on Instagram. I'm restricting comments on that video. <laughs>
plug Kitty Hawk. So this year they're doing a like mentor sort of thing. So if you guys want more leadership tips from us, um, how many of you guys are on Kitty Hawk? Okay, so you guys can at least get those from us through that Kitty Hawk system, or you can just DM the rest of us.